Hi, welcome back to Euro Talk, the show where we talk about the most exciting things that happen in the European football leagues. I can't lie, this is my favorite show. I love it. There we go. And well, you know the thing we should do as well? We should start learning other languages as well. I only speak Portuguese. English. That's for my prediction. No, yeah, I predict. Predict my pred I predicted. <laughs> I think to make this show the best show on YouTube, we need to actually know the languages and actually go to games abroad. Amigo, amigo, me, me habla español. Me is flying to Clásico. Find out what language this is. Speaking of watching games from different countries, I'm planning to go and watch Clásico. I'm planning to come with you. I'm not looking to go, guys. <laughs> 16th of October, you see me there, Madrid. But guys, I, what I can guarantee you, I will watch a game of Lance and Loria. There we go. That's what the Euro Talk Show has created. We're fans now of other teams in other leagues. So before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment as well if you're enjoying the show. And let's start with the show with La Liga. Samba, we had, baby. We had the Madrid Derby. What is it known as? What's the name? Highly anticipated Madrid Derby. That's oh, not what it's called. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> oh, no, oh, is that what Derby's called? Oh, no, no, no. So talk to us about the Madrid Derby. Madrid played the Tesco Madrid. The most highly anticipated uh, game of the weekend. This was amazing. I want to come out publicly. Okay. On, there we on go. SPS, Take the stage. Come out. And, and say, you guys know my agenda with Carlo Ancelotti. I want to say one thing. Carlo Ancelotti, I'm sorry. <gasps> what? I want you to stay in Madrid. Why? I am extremely sorry of the way I've disrespected you over the past year. Carlo Ancelotti, you can stay in Madrid. Well, what changed? That first half performance, incredible. It's taking that... you 45 minutes of football to, no, no, to no. now respect. It's finally understood that he's going to stay here. Bro, we've won nine games out of nine. Our last three wins was without Benzema. But these are all things we've been telling you. But you won the Champions League and the league double last season. You that, still weren't having it. That first half performance was masterclass, elite performance from every person. Start with Fede. Three games in a row now. Go. Bro, I said it in my TikTok video. He's world class. I don't give a damn what anyone says. There's no one in the world that does what he does. He's the best at what he does. Tremendous assist. Pass. The way off the pass, bruv. Rodrigo, clinical finish. I'll be real, yeah? I think the finish was much more difficult than the pass. I agree. But tremendous assist. People said before the preseason start, he's not creative. I don't know. No, no. <laughs> but in terms of the game, second half, the last 30 minutes, I said they pressured us. But I think, listen, we've won a wonder away from home, tough away ground, nine wins out of nine. We're the only team so far in the top five leagues have won every single game. Speaking of Madrid, I want a topic phase. I want to actually ask you about this. The whole Vinny Jr. situation with the dancing. What is going on there? What do you, what's, what's Bro, it's, it's disgraceful. Hey, it's not disgraceful. How can you hate someone just enjoying the game of football? That's how they express. It's the Samba thing. I've done the Samba before. And well, it's not a pretty right. sight. My thing is, when you score a goal, you're allowed to celebrate, you're allowed to enjoy it. The moment Rodrigo scored, first thing I said, you better dance, bro. Yeah. That Spanish report for, for him to say, take you somewhere back to Brazil, you have to respect the opponent and stop dancing like a monkey. That's ruining That is disgraceful. Why do you have to respect your opponent? His and, respect and, and, is there. I'm not celebrating and, and because I don't respect him. I'm celebrating because I'm happy I just scored and entertaining the crowd. Those remarks, they're not needed in football. Not, not at all. Not and all. with him as well, it's like, you can dance. That's how he plays. Mm -hmm. He well, plays that freestyle samba Brazilian football where it's just Neymar had it, Dinho had it, now it's Vinny. Bro, that's how we fell in love with the game, bro. The Dinho way, the Neymar way, and now Vinny. Vinny, I think, is the last, in my opinion, is the last entertainer we've got, I think, in the sport. For him to criticize him and hate on him, stupid, bro. Big up the statement. He came out on Instagram and defended it and said his, said his thing by starting his own charity, this yeah. and that. The statement was very good as well. Like, yeah. for someone at, at that young age, come up with a statement like that, that's like, props to him, innit? Vinny, keep dancing. Keep scoring goals, keep playing well, keep dancing. Dance, Vinny, you dance. Deserve to dance. Come dance with me as well <laughs> next time on TikTok. I'll get you. All right, moving on to Barcelona. They're playing against Elche. They won 3 0. You know, FaZe wasn't watching El Clasico. He's watching Barca against Elche. El Clasico? Oh, yeah. One That's highly anticipated. Oh. Hey. The one at home, Pai had his first chance to start and he scored that. That he, signature goal that he does. Bro, that's, the, that's his move now. Tries to defend his foe for it. But you know why, though? It's because he puts all his weight on one side in it and it doesn't look like it's shifting it the other way. But now, Leo scored two goals. He's now, of course, top score for La Liga. I think the biggest turning point for Barca it's been bolder playing as a left back oh, I really like him you know Chavi's done that now and there was a picture that came out after the game both Alba, Busquets and Pique on the bench as you know thank god man I read it as well today that Busquets yeah. going to America sad, sad day this is going to be his last season last season that's Very sad times like your, like your favorite yeah, I'm going to go to his last home game have, you, have you watched Busquets at the new camp I've not watched Barca play at the new camp I've just played Def you know, how many times has he mentioned that guys <laughs> to the day the I one. die alright moving on now to my team Betis I think we're going to get Champions League this year, you know? we <laughs> 
Oh, really? We're going to be a Champions League club next year. I think you can. Big win. Borja scoring two goals. Yep. Who's Borja? Borja Iglesias. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Relate to Enrique Iglesias. No, no, no. I don't believe that. Do we think he compete for that top goal scorer spot? I think between Leo and Borja. So yeah. I think he's got a good chance. Bro, that, uh, speaking of top four, bro, that's so many teams fighting for that top four spot. So this is like the first time in a while. There's so many teams that are competing. I read somewhere that this is Athletic Bilbao's best start. Best start with Valverde. Born Barca manager. And Inaki winning has been scoring. A lot of people have been scoring. You've got Bilbao, Betty, Seville, Atleti, Sociedad, Valencia. I think this year you may see two new faces mm. finishing that top four. I bet she's, I think, is going to finish top four. But I think that that fourth spot will be interesting to see who's going to For grabs. But yeah, before we move into the next league, what we'd like to do is we'd like to have the star player of the week. Yes! yes! <laughs> he said it. And because it's named after you, you get to announce it. Who is the star player no, no, of the no, week? No, no, it goes, it goes. Yeah, I, didn't <laughs> watch, I didn't watch the league this week. Who is the star player of the week? Star Liga? player of the week goes to, I'm going to say, Boja. Two goals. He is star player of the week. All right, next up we have the French League, the League R Uber Eats. Bonsoir, bonsoir, I'm here. What happened in League R after him? Big game, PSG against Lyon. Neymar, seventh assist to Messi to win 1 0. Two points clear now of Marseille because they Ballon drew 1 1. Neymar, baby. Messi is what he's back. They're two points clear of Marseille. Marseille drew 1 1 to Rams. So good. It's got Duzzi's own goal and Guadalupe scored again. He's got two goals. <laughs> yeah, basically. Got two goals. <laughs> Lance unfortunately drew so that they dropped from third to fourth because most exciting team, L'Oreal. Put your stocks in. They've got the fifth youngest team in Europe. Their attack force is like 23, 22, 20, and 22, I think. They beat Oxo 3-1. You guys watch the highlights. You see the goal, yeah, the, yeah. the way they're playing. Say go. They lost their best player last year to Sassuolo. Okay. That, that, I read that. And their recruitment's been really good. They've relied so heavily on the youngsters as well. If you guys enjoy high pace, they don't play much on the ball. Very effective off the ball. They scored the third most goals in the league. Oh, defense is not a great. Last year, they conceded 63 goals. Who do you compare to, uh, to a Premier League team? Me personally, I would say early Liverpool days in terms of when Salah and Marley just came yeah. where it was just pure pace, counter attacking, fast football attacking. For me, projected top four. Obviously, it's only eight. So that's just bro, Liverpool fans, if you guys are watching this. Yeah, though you're like they were so much highly tired players at their team. I wouldn't be surprised they got them going to bigger teams next year. Going with that, star player of the week. As you will know his name. What's the name? Name is Hamari Traore from Stadi Rent. Had a very good game for Rux. Big up for Rent as well. Skipper. Yeah, skipper. Look at that. To be fair, there's a lot of ballers called Traore. All right, we'll go next. Serie A. Serie A, baby. Bella Ciao. And what a big game there was. Napoli versus Milan. They all missed the game, so they missed that threat on the left-hand side. But CDK was there. Did well in the second half. First half, Milan, Giroud, crossbar. But second half, my boy. Kivicha, baby. Kivicha, baby. I'm getting shot as well. Kivicha was fouled. Penalty, VR. And then Milan scored Giroud. Virgin being world class. And, but then, towards the end, Simeone comes scores. Napoli is my team, yeah? I want them to win the league. They have done very well in transfer window. They have That's done really well. Recruitment wise, they've done really well. Like now, after Koulibaly left, a couple of players, came their there. whole like Sari team is gone. Insigne, yeah, Mertens. Yeah, now that they're left, they're all gone. Oh. And now it's a whole new look team and they're looking really good. Yeah, 100% with Napoli, their recruitment of Kim, yeah. Kafuccia, Raspadori, and Giovanni Simeone, uh, just in case, because Osman does get injured here and there. Uh, Simeone, that's a different player. And they've got, got Anquisa stepping up to it, Lobotka. Oh, Everyone's stepping up, bro. And that's why they've won both the Champions League games. So big up to Napoli. But I'll be real, I still, I still have Ace Milan winning the league. Alright, well, moving on. Juventus. It keeps getting worse and worse for them. Bro, they lost against Monza, who hasn't won a single game. And Beat bear them. in mind, they've got a new manager, bro. A proper young manager. A historic win for Monza. But for, for Juve, Di Maria got sent off in the first half. It was a very, very dead call from the referee. Like, I think it was perfect. It was tight up on him. And Di Maria just pure. Bro, it wasn't oh, just, but that's it was, bro, it was straight. He didn't hit him, he didn't hit him clean. Yeah, and bro, bro, yeah, but, you know, you know, no, no, I'll be real. You know when you see someone's face, yeah. you know, the intent to hurt oh, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that. Obviously, Di Maria's scrawny, so it's not going to hurt. But he didn't they, catch they, him. He, he, didn't saw, catch he, him sold it, he sold it. It was a red. I think, listen, Juve, this is one of the worst starts. Allegri, I don't know what he's doing. That midfield. The way he's playing style, having no midfield and getting him to drift out wide and just literally hoofing crosses. But what makes him worse, Monza's best player was Ravella, who is a Juve player. Yeah. Imagine this. Ravella had more passes than all Juve's midfielders combined. Allegri, your job is not there yet. By the way, guys, I tweeted in 2015 saying, I feel like Mikel Arteta will be an Arsenal manager. Go check See, it out. He's going to tweet up. Bro, we want Allegri but thankfully he rejected us. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, man. Yeah. There we go. Right. Moving on, staying in Syria. Uh, Faisal, I have chatted about this. Roma. That loss against Atlanta, big up to Atlanta, good team. Yeah. But the bar not being there was a crucial part of the game. I think they lost their attacking spark with him there. Pellegrini had to play from an eight to a 10, more forward up there. Bro, Tammy had a couple of chances. Zaniolo should have got a penalty, at least one of them. Mm -hmm. But big up to Atlanta, Marino got sent off as well. You, I think you need to give Atlanta more credit, you know? Atlanta have got the same record as Napoli. Uh, Atlanta over the last four years, bro, they've been consistent, bro. They've 
I, I, I've they're, always liked their manager as well. They've been consistent. Oh, they've been consistent. And one of the an English player is Gunder. He's doing very well as well. He's contributing. Look, man. Inter lost 3 1 against who? You didn't say, bro. That striking pairing of Beto and, and Delefeo. 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 We'll give you a trophy in the post. It's coming soon. Yeah, yeah. Guten Tag. It is time for the Bundesliga. <laughs> Start player. Hello, oh, guys. I've been paying attention to the Bundesliga with the help of Abdul, but I did watch a couple no, highlights. One. I'm not like the last two weeks, you, you were disappointed, but fair play this week, you actually... I actually watched the highlights. So for me, it's against, like, against. you know, fair enough. I watched the Moshe Gladbach. Oh, Leipzig game. Yeah, they absolutely killed, killed them, Leipzig. Bro. Killed them. We was always talking about Leipzig defence not being there. That second off of Gladbach, bro, I think they had a corner. Counter attack. Very good game, Exciting. Going to, I would say, the, the game of the week. It was Augsburg against Bayern Munich. They haven't won a game at home this season, but their keeper, which got recommended to me by Abdul last week, the man that saves yeah, he was pulling. Even, yeah. have you seen the chance of, of Manuel Neuer, 90th minute? Bullet header. Obviously, he tipped up to the right, came back out, some of volley that saved it. The game he had, very good office line. keep an eye on him. What's the problem with Mane, bro? Like, Four games now without a goal. What do you think Nagelsmann should do, in your opinion? Play Mane off the left. Any world-class player needs time to adapt. Or we'll past that stage now, me personally, where they have to straight away bang. Otherwise, they're a flop. Like, with Mane, you got to give him time. He worked to be a world-class player, for yeah. be real. He wasn't yeah, yeah. off the bat. So I feel like that's the case. And obviously, Yusuf Makuku. That's off of Dortmund. Oh. Dortmund 1-0 win. What a header. Dortmund should have scored a couple, but... Marco Roy's injury as well. Oh, so bro. unfortunate, man. He's right, missed like another he World Cup. Another, no, another no, World Cup. Came out today, I think, or like last week, that he's only out for like three, four weeks. Oh, oh, I'm dead. That's, 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 that's good. Thank you. He missed the 2014 World Cup, didn't he? Let's hope it seems yeah. right. The last team I want to talk about is the team that's top of the table. Union Berlin. That's like Udinese smashing it in the Italy. It's crazy. Union, but Union Berlin. Bro, every, bro, every like, league. Like, no one would have predicted that. Bro, that's why every league. It's Arsenal's top of the Prem. Yeah, I mean, that's a surprise. What's going on? <laughs> Football's amazing. I love it. I love it. It's back. Unit Berlin, they won the game 2 0. Again, clean sheet. They're on fire, bro. bro I'm not bro. even. Thing is, I'm reading about Union Berlin, but I need to actually delve into it. Yeah. The way I'm, because I'm, so, I'm very invested in uh, league. Huh? There's just so much football going on. Like we've been. Shush, so... you might have to help me yeah, out. No, no, I'm gonna come into it now because at the end of the day, I'm, I might keep a close eye on Union Berlin. Please do that like, because there's so much football. Like Berlin's a nice so city as well. Tunnel vision with Premier League that all the other leagues, there's so much competition. In every every league. every league is entertaining. Yeah. That's why it's hard should... for just us to keep up. That's why we need more correspondence. We've got correspondence right now. We could do with some of you guys in the comments below. Let us know what leagues you watch let us know about all the teams it can be talking, anywhere it can be anywhere 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 let us know for me star player of the week has to go back to the keeper from augsburg my hot take he'll start ahead of chesney in the world cup this year i wouldn't be Poland. surprised yeah because yeah. chesney's uh, it's on the bench i think he'll start i'll go to the final league and sometimes we like to involve an extra league or two it had to be a device the dutch league four of the biggest teams all played yeah. ajax against az big game that's your team isn't it mm. well <laughs> you won you won <laughs> no, you won. Yeah, I, they, I, you won, won, bro. So will I. Bro, but I actually. You know what I heard? You know, fingers, yeah. I was speaking to Mike, the brother, about it. When he told me it was AZ against Ajax, I was like, uh, Bro, nah. it was crazy. Ajax won every single game, but then could have scored in the first half, and then everyone was like, oh. Yeah, well, I, bro, well, I asked him what the other. Yeah. I said, I could have scored. I said, it's crazy. AZ scored yeah. two goals in the end of the first half, and then 2 1. Big game for AZ, who, of course, uh, broke Ajax winning streak. That game is not even the game of the season. Final against PSV. What bro. a game. Full. Three, four goals in the first half. Gagpo, bro, one goal, three assists. Game. What does he have to do to move? That game was mental, bro. He's got way better stats than Anthony. I think, bro, he deserves a place in top six, top four in the Premier League. Pass is very elite. Hence the reason why star player of the week goes to Gagpo. Three assists and one goal. Look, 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 look at his surface score this season. Ridiculous. He's mental, bro. bro. I saw it recently. I said, bro, bro Rude Van Nistro. Bro, yeah. Rude Van Nistro has turned him into a killer, bro. You know what he is? As FaZe would say, he's a person that's playing angry because he didn't 
didn't get that transfer. And this World Cup is going to be a big. He has to stop. This World Cup is going to be a massive World Cup for him. And you know me and Stars are, are Netherlands fans as well, so it's going to be hard. Die hard. It's going to be good. Netherlands before I'm English. Our, our Netherlands shirts are coming out of this World Cup. Big up Gagpo, three assists and one goal. Star player of the week. Before we end it, we like to do a funny moment of the week. All right, we're on our way to Turkey, guys. A big game. Antalya Sport versus Adana, yeah? It's 1 0 up to Adana. There's already two red cards in the game to both teams. Antalya Sport, look at uh, Nakajima on the bench. He hasn't made his debut yet. You know, you, get, you see him warming up, you see him getting ready. He's ready to make his debut. There's a nice shot of his family. Comes on, 20 seconds in, makes a disgusting challenge. <laughs> it's a yellow card. Referee was like, you know what? I can see your family up in the stands right there. Let me go to the VAR screen. That's an overturn for a red card. And then the, the cameraman, I'm not gonna lie, Ooh. shout out to the cameraman. Evil. Because he kept showing shots of his family. I saw and it. As soon, I, I like that. I like as soon that. as he walked into the tunnel, his mom was just like wiping away tears. So cheers, mom's crying. Yeah, cheers, yeah. Mom's crying. legit. Yeah. <laughs> Fact, day, man yeah. came on. On his debut, 20 seconds in, got something. Yeah, yeah. so how old is he? How old is he? 28. 28. His family's still watching. Sue's <laughs> so experienced as well. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, experienced. Mom crying. Yeah. His mom's like, his mom crying for yeah. 20 years. Yeah, 20 year old, yeah. Hey. His brother and sister, they couldn't believe it. Man. That's that harsh. is, um, uh, you, know, you know, leave us to 28 next year as well. <laughs> They're going to be the same age. That's it for uh, Euro Talk this week. If you guys want to get involved, be our correspondents, let us know in the comments. Shout out to all the current correspondents, all the handles are on the screen. Also, if you want to get involved in the funny moments, if something happens in the week that you think is hilarious, tweet it to us, see it's on the screen as well and he can pitch us the funny moment of the week we'll see you guys next time hit the like button subscribe and keep enjoying european football because it is fun